My female boss was washing my head from behind me. My role as a boss is to take care of you. It's clearly not time to work, but I felt Fueki smile. I told you, management positions don't have the concept of overtime working. I felt something soft on my back. How did this happen? Next to me is the new clumsy girl that I'm training. I do teach her quite thoroughly, but she still makes lots of mistakes, which troubles me. I don't mean to say that her mistakes trouble me. It's very natural for new workers to make mistakes. Hey! Shit! The trouble has just arrived! It's your job to make sure you look after her very carefully, so that she doesn't make any mistakes. How many times do I have to tell you? But I have my own stuff to do! If you can't even figure that out, you should go home. If you could reduce my amount of work, I would be able to take care of her more. Don't talk back to me! This is the reason I am troubled. My boss, Chief Fueki. I don't know if she just doesn't like me or not, but she always only tells me off for insufficient management. I'm trying so hard working overtime, but she just yells at me, telling me to leave. I'm so sorry, I did it again. Don't worry about it. She's popular because she's very beautiful. But having her as a boss is a nightmare. I wonder why she's so strict, just to me. And the next day, the incident happened. I sent the email to the wrong address! What?! She accidentally sent the presentation documents to our client. A very simple but deadly mistake. Fortunately, the documents didn't contain any major confidential information, but it was still a grave mistake. Chief Fueki was furious, just as I had expected. Murasaka, how did this happen when you were looking over her? Fortunately, the documents were on the pre-open for tomorrow, so it wasn't such a big deal. But, she could have been fired if the case was a lot bigger. I will report this to the board. She might be transferred. What? Transferred in her second year?! Naturally. Don't be so naive. I remembered that she told me that she wanted to stay at this branch a little longer because it was close to her parents' home. I, on the other hand, was living alone, and it wouldn't be so hard for me to move. Oh well. I'm sorry, Chief Fueki. I ordered her to send the email, so it's my mistake. Okay, this should be a good opportunity then. You might be transferred instead. I will be careful. What?! I couldn't believe what I just heard! because I hadn't made a single mistake for a long time, and I was aware that I was contributing to the branch evaluation. Would I be transferred so easily? Motosaka, you will be transferred. What?! I remember you telling me that you wanted to go to a branch in the countryside. Looks like your dream will come true. Wait, please! I'll give you a week to move. You said you wanted to rest, didn't you? Well, I did, but... You won't have to work overtime after you transfer. I was not convinced at all. I want to achieve more here. But it is true that I want to move to the countryside and rest and not work overtime. If this decision leads to protecting my Kohai, it might not be such a bad decision. Okay. Then go home. So I was kicked out of the Aris branch, which was said to be the elite branch. But I have to say that the decision was influenced by Chief Fueki's personal affair. The sad thing about this job is that you have to obey her no matter what. The next week, I was really transferred to a different branch. Wow! My new apartment is looking great! My transfer destination changed, and I was sent to a fairly large city. I guess living my dream will be a long way ahead. I guess I'll have to enjoy what I have. Happy new life to me! I wonder why Chief Fueki hates me so much. I'm not sure I like her either. I heard this on my last day at my previous branch, but the transfer was decided by the president, not the HR department. Our president is from the HR department, so things like this happen occasionally. Wow, she hates me so much. Chief Fueki was the one that suggested the transfer to the president. I'm glad I don't have to see the person that hates me so much. So the transfer wasn't so bad after all. The room I was heading for was an apartment that the company rented for me. I was just told the address, and I haven't checked what it looks like. So I'm excited to see it. Wow! It's so spacious! I wasn't expecting much, but it was so much more spacious than I had expected. Maybe it's for couples or families. The station is close by as well, so I think I'll be able to enjoy my new life. Huh? Chief Fueki? Huh? The person who came into my apartment was Chief Fueki. His beauty and sharp eyes, I wouldn't mistake it for anyone else. Why are you here, Chief Fueki? What's going on? Did she come all the way here so she could harass me? 
Why are you here? This is my house. Get out. You go out. Why are you here? Wait, what? Did she just say my house? This is my home. I opened the door with my key. I thought you lived like four hours away from here. I was transferred to the branch in this city. You know, you are the one who talked to the president to get me transferred. But this isn't the place I told you you'd be transferred to. What is going on? Excuse me, I have mail. Oh, thank you. I didn't plan on coming here. It's a letter. It has our president's signature stamp on it. I recognized it from the documents I wrote for the transfer. She heard what I said and snatched the letter out of my hands. Hiya. I guess you are surprised, right? I have arranged for you to live with your subordinate. Of course, you could refuse. You can move if you don't want to live with him. This is an abnormal situation. But you want my position, right? You wouldn't be fit for president if you can't train a single employee. That fucking bitch! Ahem. <clears throat> that old woman. You're not really hiding anything. Shut up! Why do we have to live together in the first place? How you perform at work is directly connected with your lifestyle. I will give you one year. If his performance grows rapidly, I will promote you and invite you to work in the elite department. You like promotions, don't you? Of course I do! Wait, no, shut up! It's a little late to mention, but she is quite different from when she's at work. Our president is very charismatic and is looked up to by everyone. But she's also rumored to make insane human resourcing decisions. Now I understand. Let's talk to the president so that we can have separate apartments. I'm sure that even our president will understand if we protest. And delay my promotion? No way! Wait, she's up for this? So I need to improve your performance at work to get a promotion. But this is like saying that you have to care for me, not just at work, but also at home. I have a feeling it's some kind of bad joke. Don't be stupid. I'm not taking care of you at home. She wouldn't know anyways. But I can tell you one thing. She's dead serious. She's that kind of person. R right Of course you can protest it if you are strongly against it. So you should be prepared because doing that means delaying my promotion. Why does this have to happen to my new life? I guess I have no choice but to obey now. Okay, is your stuff arriving next week, Chief? Yeah. Can you stop calling me Chief? I don't want to be in my work mode at home. It gets tiring. You can talk to me more frankly. But what should I call you then? You can just call me Fuiki. But call me Chief at work. So I just call her by her name at home. I guess it'll be easier for me too. Not to think that the Chief is in my house. Okay. So this is how the life with the Chief, the life with Fuiki, started. On the day we got transferred, I am Mami Fueki. I will be starting here today. I would like to contribute to the improvement of this Canon branch and the Yuki Limited as a whole. Nice to meet you all. Wow, she's beautiful. I want to get close to her. I will introduce my subordinate who is also from Eris branch, Motosaka. I am Takeru Motosaka. I will try my best to be of help to this branch. Nice to meet you. He is like my invaluable assistant. I hope you will teach him how things are done here. Yes! Invaluable assistant? More like slave. A few hours later? Here you go. Um, what is this? Work. Read this and summarize it into a document. You can do it. I'm counting on you. Hey, aren't these the presentation documents that the previous branch was in charge of? Why is this branch doing it? So I was a slave after all. But you have to go home after work. No working overtime. I'll never get it done then. I protested to Chief Fueki after I got home. Chief! That isn't an amount that I can handle by myself! I have work to do for the Canon branch as well! Why are we doing the work we were doing from the previous branch anyways? I'm not Chief. I'm Fueki. I'm sorry, Chief Fueki, but... I told you it's Fueki! What? You can't do it. I would be able to prove your performance if you could handle it, but... That's impossible! I'm just an ordinary person, unlike you, Fueki. I'm not a super high-spec human like you. S super what? If you cannot give me a satisfactory explanation, I can't keep up with all of this. Even if you could, I don't want to. It's not an amount I can handle without working overtime. I don't like throwing things out halfway. But I understand. I think I was a little too reliant on you. She gave in and sighed. She took her laptop and documents out of her bag and put it on the table. I'll do the rest. 
Thanks for doing it this far. Would you just send me the file? I'm sorry. I tend to always think with my standards. It was a gentle voice that I had never heard before. As I was just there, thinking, she started typing silently. But she doesn't have to work at home, though. Even if you don't like to finish things halfway, you'll get sick if you work too much. You're the one to talk. She was working while I was eating a bento box from a convenience store. She was doing the same thing after I got out of the shower. It was almost midnight. We have work tomorrow. How long is she going to keep working? It was the same for three days in a row, and I couldn't resist it anymore. Um, should I help you? What are you saying? You aren't allowed to work overtime. That's the same for you, isn't it? I'm a manager, so I don't have the concept of working overtime, so I'm allowed to work at home. But she was stretching her shoulders and was looking very tired. She would get sick if she pushes herself more. Oh well. I turned on my laptop, took a pile, and started summarizing the data. You won't get paid for this because you've already left the office. You'll waste your time so you don't have to do it. If you think I'm wasting my time because I'm not being paid, what will happen to you? I'm a manager. It's not a waste to achieve the team goal. Then I'm doing it to help you, so I'm not wasting my time. Don't tell me to pay you later. How about you make me dinner sometime? Did I go too far? We promised that we would eat separately so I might get told off. But Fuiki was laughing a bit. <laughs> when this is all over... I think this was the first time I saw her smile after moving here. She looked super cute. We were able to get the work done, and she really made dinner for us. I bet everyone from work would be extremely jealous if they heard about this. And it was delicious! This is the number one food that I would want a girl to cook for me! Nikujaga, miso soup, and rice! You have three number ones? And besides, the rice is microwaved. It's so good that I don't care! They're all so good! Shit! I got too excited! I only helped her do some work. I hope she doesn't get mad at me. Huh? Really? Thanks. Her voice was normal, but her expression looked a little happy. She is beautiful all the time, but this expression is... exceptional. Hasn't your girlfriend ever made you dinner? Girlfriend? If I had one, I would have protested a little more before being transferred. I'm still young, so I thought that living in a city I've never been to might be fun. I'm not really interested in promotions anyways. If that's the case, you work way too hard. You always worked overtime in the last branch. Even when the competitions weren't that close, you were constantly working overtime. Well, that's because I was given a lot of work. Wait, how do you know? I'm your boss. I know your working hours, your attitude towards work, and your skills. We couldn't afford to lose you, so I told you so many times to go home. You wouldn't listen, though. Was this transfer for me? So you chose a branch with no work overtime? Yeah. I negotiated with the president, saying that it won't damage the branch achievements. You were getting jobs of summarizing presentation data from other departments, weren't you? I didn't know about the other departments, so their work efficiency went down because they were dependent on you. I was held responsible for that, so I was transferred. That was not according to plan. So... you didn't hate me? What are you talking about? I'm a manager. I don't do work based on my preferences. Why would you do that for me if you are so passionate about work? Wouldn't it have been more efficient if you made me work overtime? You'll definitely regret it if you push yourself and get sick. Work isn't the only thing in life. Now that you have left that branch, you should rest. Make achievements, get a girl, and have a life with a good work-life balance. You're not interested in promotion, right? Fuiki wants to be the president. It's a big ambition. I do feel sorry for you, but let me be by your side for a little longer. It seems like the closest shortcut to my promotion. Why do you want to get promoted? I don't want to lose against the president. I wonder what she's talking about. She looked like she was looking at something far ahead. I guess she has her own things going on. I'll take a shower, so... If you have anything you want to ask urgently, just ask me from outside. Oh, okay. I started to summarize the data again, and some time had passed. I thought that Fuiki didn't like me. But I guess she is a nice boss who acts for her subordinates. Why didn't I realize? If she was doing everything for me, I need to pay her back. Um, should I type this or not? This isn't urgent, but she always takes time in a shower. It'll be a waste of time, so I'll ask her. Fuiki, about the document. <gasps> Why did you just come in? I... I had something I wanted to ask. 
Don't you think that's rude? At least knock! My bad! Is that an apology? Come here, let me punch you! Yesterday's enemies could be today's friends. From that day on, we started to get closer. It would be tiring to live with someone who you don't like. I guess it was natural for us to change like this. But I wouldn't have been able to imagine us being like this a few weeks back. The reason she was constantly telling me to leave was because she was worried about me. Now that I think about it, she would only tell me off when I was working overtime. I think she couldn't openly say it because there were other managers who were giving me jobs. Even then, I still think she could have done it a little differently, but... And we made a new promise. After I finish working out our current presentation, Fuiki will make dinner every day for a while. I was super excited for it, and was working extremely hard in front of my laptop. A week had gone by, and the presentation was getting close. We were doing the final check for the presentation documents. After this... Wow, you are good at summarizing things. The meeting records have been really well summarized. Your advice today during the meeting was helpful as well. I didn't do much. Besides, you make all the final decisions. You should get the credit for it. What are you talking about? It's the team's achievement. So, all we have left is mending this document. She does look very elegant when she's in her work mode. The combination with her home clothes is very attractive. What am I thinking? The presentation preparation that I have been doing will be done once she accepts it. All I would have to do is practice for the presentation. Yep, it looks good. Thanks. You've done a great job. It's finished. This means... I'll make dinner for you like we promised. I'll prepare, so why don't you go and take a bath? Okay! <laughs> I enjoy working recently. It's fun talking to Fuhiki, and I enjoy it! And my heart was racing. Is this perhaps... I knew exactly what this feeling was. I've decided. This is so cliche, but once I get done with the presentation, if I get over it, I will... Why is everything going black? Hey, Motosaka. Huh? Fuiki's voice? I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were sick. I'm not qualified to be your boss. No, you're not. Thank you for coming for me. I was thinking about something and then fell asleep. So you were just sleeping? Yeah. You had me so worried! Your blood pressure goes down if you're in the bath too long. Haven't you heard that sleeping in the bath is similar to passing out? Tell me if you are so tired that you might fall asleep in the bath. I'll put you in bed. You're too protective. You push yourself too hard when I'm not looking. You have to take care of your own body. I tried to say something and got up. That's when I realized the situation was in. There were several towels on my body. Did she... So, did you see it? It's really difficult to make a sleeping person wear clothes. It, did you see it? It was inevitable. I wish the ground would open up and swallow me. I'm so embarrassed. Why did this have to happen as soon as I started to get attracted to her? Um, wait a second then. Can we call it even now? You only have a towel on. What do you mean? I don't understand, but thank you very much. I can hear your inner voice. Sorry. I'll wash your back as well. Fueki really started to wash my back. Uh, are you sure you are okay with doing this? Taking care is the duty of a boss. This is clearly outside work, but I got the best treat I could have ever asked for, and my body and mind had fully recovered. Now I can die without any regrets. We somehow got over the presentation. Fueki did the presenting, and we won the competition. The sales for our branch are expected to double. We did it! I'm just glad it's all over. It's all thanks to the excellent documents. Huh? A letter from the president? It looks like it's for you. I wonder what it says. Apparently the presentation was highly evaluated by the president. You have two options right now. One is to come back to headquarters and rejoin the elite department. The second is to continue living there and oversee your subordinates grow. I did get close to Fuiki, but she had always wanted to get promoted. Are you going? It is a shame, but I want to prioritize her feelings over mine. Didn't I tell you? I don't like throwing things out halfway. Do you mean? I'll take care of you for a little longer. You'll push yourself too far again if I'm not around. Fuiki! I impulsively hugged her. She stroked my head. Thank you so much! Now I can survive! Hey! Don't exaggerate! As I was feeling her warmth, she handed me another letter. It was for me. 
I'm sure Mommy would pick the second choice. Would you accept this as an apology for making your work so hard all these years? So that was the reason Fueki came here, and just as the president expected, I have been enjoying my life with Fueki, and now I have feelings for her. Thank you. I was certain that you would fall in love with Mommy. Mommy has grown, and I expect much from you. If you get together, I have nothing to worry about for this company's future. The fact that she won the competition is proof that she has become flexible. Please make my daughter happy. She read my mind through a letter. No wonder many people look up to her. Daughter? Of the president? I looked over to Fuiki, and she was looking at me like nothing had ever happened. Oh, didn't I tell you? You failed to mention that. So when you said you don't want to lose against the president... I meant I don't want to lose against my mom. What? Her parents got divorced and she lived with her father. She didn't want to lose against her mother, who did not think about her family enough. So that's why she was aiming to become the president. I think the president knew, and she transferred Fuiki so that she would try hard to prove herself. She was constantly thinking about the company. But those last words, if that is her way of showing love to her daughter... But... I'm not sure Fuiki knew how her mother felt. Fuiki? I can't let you stay here just for one subordinate from work. I feel bad. Don't worry about it. I love you, Fuhiki. I don't think there would be a problem living together if, if we were a couple. <gasps> what should I do if she turns me down? I got overexcited and told her how I feel. I've had the same experience as a student and I got turned down. But I have to believe in Fuhiki. And then she said, I love you too. I want to be with you. The smile she made was the most beautiful smile I had ever seen her make. Yes! Then can we sleep in the same bed from today? She opened her eyes widely. Maybe it was a little too soon, but she just blushed. B be gentle with me. The life with Fueki was going to continue.